Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wax with Alex. I'm Alex, thank you for joining me for another video today. Um, I am feeling a little bit better than my last video, just, just a bit, I'm sure you can tell, even just my regular attitude. Um, I'm still feeling a little congested and um, just a little bit under the weather, but definitely better than when I was hit by a truck. <laughs> I don't know what that cold was, but that was really intense. Um, I'm sorry if you've dealt with that or are dealing with it right now. <laughs> I hope you get better soon. It is not fun. Um, today, I actually have my party closeout. So I placed this order um, after the flash sale. Uh, this was the 17th. I actually closed this party because I wanted to get some of the Bring Back My Buddies. I considered getting some of the bricks, but I ended up passing. I added them to my club instead. Um, I was thinking about doing a, a two brick bundle, but um, I just decided not to. I didn't want to be stuck with a ton of wax um, that I just... I'm not thrilled about. Now, if it's in my club and I love it, then that's great. Then I can just keep getting it. So anyways, so this party, um, I did get a bunch of half price and free things. So let's get into it. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm, ah, you can probably see some stuff up top. Um, so maybe I will start um, with those. I'm gonna have to hide them again because they are going to be gifts. I'm not sure if they will be Christmas or birthday. My two girls, my stepdaughter and my daughter are both born in November, a day apart. Um, so they often celebrate their birthdays together and stuff. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do these as birthday gifts or not, if they're gonna be Christmas gifts this year. Um, oh. I am so excited. I have Lenny the lamb. I know he's not available in our catalog right now, um, but he was like a staple buddy in our catalog for a long time. And he is like the sweetest little lamb. So I just want to see this guy. This is Bally, Bally the Ballet Sheep, I think, or Bally the Bally Sheep. I'm not even sure how you say his name. Oh, he's got, I just threw it there. Oh my gosh. I think this guy will be for my son. He is, oh my gosh. Oh, he's really curly, almost like, um, not rough. He's not rough by any means. Um, he's got some little loose snippings here. Some loose snippings. Oh my goodness, he is actually quite cute. Uh, lots of little threads. Okay, it's because he's got two different colors going on. Um, his little patch. Oh my gosh, he's not like, he's not, um, see how Bailey is like, soft soft fur he's not like that he's like um more of um not mohair because he's not quite that type of material but he's more of a rougher uh, material kind of nice he's kind of nice to um touch and hold and i love his ears he's got like corduroy on the ears corduroy on his little hands and feet oh, he's gonna need to be like fluffed <laughs> um he is adorable he's really really cute um and his little patches. I guess his patches are supposed to go where they are when they stand up. So maybe they have patches on like the back of their legs. That's cute. They're really cute. Oh, he's gonna need some trimming. There. He's really cute. So I think he'll be for my son, Bally the Belay Sheep. Oh my gosh, I love, I wish they would make like paper that I could get with this or like little bags with the patterns they're super cute oh poor valley sorry he's like stuffed in there sorry <laughs> okay and we'll you over here and then we have a bring back my buddy oh my gosh i guess i didn't show you the other box see the bells cowbells how adorable clover the cow oh my gosh so cute so 
Um, these Bring Back My Buddies are re-released. They are voted back by consumers or consultants. Um, and both. It's not, not either or, it's both. And uh, the winners are remade of Sensi Buddies that were made in the past. Um, non-licensed. <laughs> Clover the cow. Okay, so Clover is wrapped up to protect the different colors, I think, so that they don't um, touch the other areas. He is so soft. Oh, and he has a Bring Back My Buddy um, like patch, which is so sweet. They always have that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he is cuter than I thought. I already knew he was cute. Oh, and I've got his friend here. And we've got the minis. Oh, they're so cute. Um, Clover is adorable. Oh my gosh. My daughter has been wanting him because we got the little buddy clip of him. And then she found out there was a big guy when we were voting for the um, Bring Back My Buddies last round. She really wants that, um, you know, the duck in the, in the raincoat? <laughs> I don't know if it's because it has a raincoat. She really likes that one, too. Um, and the kangaroo with the baby. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that was there. Okay. Clover, you tuck down in there. Stay safe. That is so cool. My kiddos are going to be so excited. We have a huge, a huge collection of bring back my buddies. Bring back. We have a huge collection of buddies, um, which they all love. They pick different ones each night. Okay. So two more buddies. Oh my gosh. I love the packaging. Absolutely love the packaging. Could we get some paper with that on it? Fabric? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Oh, sorry. So this is River, the reindeer, and she's a sweet little reindeer. Um, I think this is gonna be for my stepdaughter. She really likes reindeer. I think it'll be a Christmas thing. Oh. There. because your head popping out. Oh, can you see that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cute. There's little pine cones and footprints. Leaves. Oh my gosh. I kind of wish it had that pattern on some fabric on her, like inside the vest or something, or like on her bum. Like, oh, I think it's some um, Rosemary who had the little flowery like design in her ears and stuff that bunny oh my goodness oh she's sweet yeah she does kind of have reminiscent qualities of the um, glam collection buddies um, especially with this material because I think they all seem to have this very fluffy loose material um, I am happy that it doesn't seem to be coming off too much the other ones with this material did <laughs> did come off a little bit um, but I think this will be all right. She's pretty cute. Look at the golden red patch, little red ribbon. Oh my gosh, so that is River. She's adorable. Ah. <laughs> ah, I love the buddies. And I don't know if I showed you her eye actually. Little eyelashes and there's like a little brown ring in there. I don't know if you can see. She's adorable. Just gonna need a fluffing too. Okay. Um, poor girl. Oh, there. It's so tight in those little boxes sometimes for them. Because they're such nice little buddies. Okay. him for me but I know my daughter is like 
wanting him as well, but I love him. Do I have to get a second one now? my birthday <laughs> should I give him to myself would my daughter be mad at me a little something on his foot <laughs> that's so good do you think she'd be mad at me now I want to show you um, one of my favorite things about this guy I, I, I Never had him in person, but I've seen him. Oh, it's like a little hood. So it comes down. Is my light too bright? Here, hang on. It was a little too bright, wasn't it? Sorry. So his hood comes down. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little loose thread. I'll have to trim that. Some of his floofs got sewn in there. There. Oh, oh my gosh. He is the sweetest little guy. This is Boris the Yeti. He is still available. He is Bring Back My Buddy. <laughs> and he is the cutest little guy. I think he's perfect for girl or boy. He's like a perfect little winter guy. He, I think he's supposed to be like a Yeti, right? Like a bear in a Yeti costume. Um, I think he's adorable. Now I gotta get his hood back. Oh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get one. <sighs> He's so cute. He's so cute. <gasps> okay, moving on to um other things. I think I may do some of the consultant store things that I got and then we'll go back into the party closeout that I did. So um my daughter needed some shoelaces and I showed her that Sensi had shoelaces. So um, we got some Scentsy shoelaces for her. She can pick which ones or all of them. I don't know if she wants all of them. I don't really have, I think I have like elastic things in most of my shoes that have laces. So I don't really have like tie-up laces, but my, my stepdaughter has like the, like Nike Air Force and like those white kind of bold shoes. So I just thought the bright, the bright laces would be really cute too. They're so rainbowy. Anyways. Okay, that's those. I also got <laughs> Chase Rainbows. And I don't know why, I just, I've been loving these. Oh, and Wax Boss. So, um, I, I haven't seen these in person. I'm gonna open, I'll open the Wax Boss one. Um, why not? Um, I'm hoping I can use these for coffee or tea. Like that type of drink as well as cold drinks yeah i think that'd be fine um <laughs> oh they're super look at okay so they come with a nice like skinny metal oh, skinny metal straw i like that too i i mean I, I do have um um like the cleaners because i have kids with straws and stuff but i guess if you didn't that'd be kind of frustrating but i do have like a straw cleaner oh this is really long eh it's nice and like because i Reaches the bottom of the tumbler, Alex. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh, I hope it doesn't come off. I can feel the um, design on the outside, but it's it's metal and it's quite insulated, and it does come with the top like this. Um, because I guess you can put a straw into. It. Sure, or it's just coffee if you want. Right. That's cute. I think that's super cool. I think that's super cool. Is it a screw? No, it's just suction. Really cool. Okay. Hmm. Kind of smells good. Okay. <laughs> um, that is super cool. So that was in the consultant store. Um, these ones were full price, but the Chase Rainbow one I got at a on, on sale. It's funny, I was gonna buy it on sale and then it went back to full price and then it went on sale again. So I was like, oh, oh cool. Because I missed out on a couple other sales in the consultant store. So hopefully some other people pick them up and are enjoying those goodies because I saw some like tote bags for like super cheap. 
Um, and they would have been nice. Okay. Do you want to see the... Do you want to see the Chase Rainbows one? I don't know what that looks like. The pictures on the on the consultant store website are like, okay, they're not the best. Let's see. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Oh, I like that. And I can feel all the bumps of the um, fruit on the outside. And it actually does go all the way up here, but you can't quite see it on the camera. Um, the little fruits. There's like citrus and strawberry. They're super cool. Oh, I really like those. <laughs> They're cool. So this one's actually on sale right now in the in the uh, consult store. Sorry, I wanted to see what this said. So many different languages. Where is English? Do. It's not dishwasher safe. Hand wash only, in case you get these. Not dishwasher safe. Um, which is fine. I hand wash my mugs and stuff like that. Okay, those are cool. I'm pumped about those. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. I got some Centax that go with all those buddies. So I got, um, I'll quickly go through what I picked up because it's always good to know. My first choice for Centax always was jammy time. So I do have like a stockpile of like three or four of them up there on my wall. I didn't even think about losing the scent pack when that scent retired at the end of the spring summer catalog this season because it normally doesn't retire so i am kind of nervous i really do hope it comes back in the spring and summer just so i can stock up on the scent packs because they are like my favorite anyways vanilla bean buttercream you cannot go wrong with this this smells so so good sugar cookie also smells delicious a little more vanilla and butter and um this is just quite vanilla but like the best um this is fantastic in the scent circle um lasts forever forever like i i don't think i could say that about many scent circles at all but vanilla bean buttercream oh yeah and i have two cashmere and corduroy because i love this scent and i thought it probably would smell oh a little pen on there probably would smell delicious in a buddy that i was snuggling with if i couldn't have jammy time <laughs> or in a bag actually this would be no, i can't smell through this <laughs> anyways yeah okay okay i also did two of the cashmere and corduroy hand creams because I love this scent and two the packaging on this i wish i could get the packaging in this on all sorts of things there's like a beautiful little kitty cat laying down curled up one over here with some wool like that's adorable that's so cute actually i guess i should smell it i'm gonna smell it i have so many hand creams open so anyways i got um i'm not gonna open them right now because i do have quite a few hand creams open although probably should open it to find out if I really want more or should I is that self-sabotage <laughs> um so yeah I got two of the cashmere and corduroy hand creams because I love this scent it just fills me with joy when I smell it like I just it feels feels makes me feel good and it's just a smell so um, I thought that would be perfect in hand cream I really wanted to try Vanilla Waves in the body cream or in any of the body products, but I don't particularly love our body wash. It's okay. It's it's just nothing special to me. Um, and I've kind of heard that the soak in this is a little bit odd. So I'm hoping this is just going to be really good. Um, I love the packaging on it. It's just so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's just very pretty. So that'll be really nice too. I'm still like struggling through my make. Is it make a splash? Yeah. Make a splash? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> make a splash body cream that I got in a whiff box a while back. Um, like in the spring. Um, it's a little bit better as like just as body, not on my hand. And that's what I tended to use it for. But I'm still like struggling to get through it because I'll look at it and I'm like, hmm, I don't want to use it. <laughs> Um, it's just not totally 100% my scent. It's not just, it's not awful. It's just, 
not what I'd prefer when I'm choosing to put a scent on my body, right? Okay. Enough the body. I got three, ah, oh, yes, three room sprays. I had to get another cashmere and corduroy because um, I don't want to run out. This is now perfume <laughs> for me. So I have that. I thought silver bells would be delicious in a room spray. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's perfect as a room spray. Oh, I'm really excited. Oh, these are really nice too. Like the, the nozzles seem really good and the lids fit really nicely. Um, for a little while I was getting them, they kind of get stuck. Um, yeah, this one's really nice too. And my third room spray that I got was White Amaranth Sock because I've been hearing this is super light in the wax, but I do like the smell. Ooh. And I think this will be better in the room spray than it will be in wax. Mmm. This is so warm and comforting. And it is a little bit cottony. Like, I know there's cotton in here, but it's not overwhelming. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to spray this too. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's such a nice, nice cotton smell. It's too bad that doesn't perform in the wax because this is like gonna be a fantastic room spray. This is like a nice, warm, clean, like bathroom linen, like, I like that. White amber and silk. White amber and silk, not white amber, amber and teak. That's the other one, it's quite strong. Um, white amber and silk, really nice. <clears throat> oh yeah. Got a whole bunch of bags too that's also from the consultant store so i can bag up things that have like big warmers and stuff i ran out of the big bags um oh yes okay oh <laughs> i forgot i got a roll of tape because they were on sale as well i have the other roll that since he put out it was in the consultant store as well i'm sorry um, that had different designs on it, the different scent families and stuff like that. So this is just like the, the other colorway. Um, I love it. I think they're super cute. I put them on lots of happy mail and stuff that I send out or little things that I just want to just tape a little piece on or like put something on as like a thank you. Um, they're really cute. I love like, look at these stars. They go from like blue and yellow and purple and oh, they look like they're going to a whole rainbow and these flowers are cute and the little bars. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. So those were on sale as well. Um, I would check out the consultant store because I did miss out. I had sitting in a cart for ages. Um, they had like the duffel bag and it was like, what, nine bucks or 15 bucks? And it was normally like, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks. Um, and it had a pocket for a scent pack right in the bag. I was like, that's super cool. My kids' backpacks have like a mesh part that is like the size of a scent pack. Um, not made for it, but that's what they're used for now, um, which I think is so cool. Okay, so I did pick up a laundry love bundle in fluffy fleece because I had, to, oh, he got mooshed. Okay, <laughs> um, because I just had to try it and I, I'm so happy with this packaging too. Oh, I know I've shown you guys with the last time that my customer picked this up, but I'm I'm gonna smell this this time because I have not smelled it. I also picked up um, another purple 25 watt bulb. I was gonna pick up a bunch and then I just just picked up what I needed because I just replaced the bulb. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I had another one on hand. I wanna smell this. So. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Cute. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that'll be really good. You know what? This doesn't even smell like identical to the wax, so I wouldn't I wouldn't compare that. It almost smells like 
something I would have gotten from like a, a Barbie kit as a kid or like a doll kit that it came with something that had scent with it, but not like heavily scented, but just enough that like it was clean or it was like fleecy or something like that. That's kind of what that reminds me of. That's really interesting. I think I'm going to love that. I'm excited to try it. I've been hearing so many good things everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Um, so I'm excited. I did pick up another black raspberry vanilla washer whips. I tend to go through this a little bit quicker than the liquid. So I'm just replenishing that because we love that in our house. I picked up two mini warmers. I will have to show you because I think they're adorable. This is Be Jolly. Actually, I should do the other one. The other one's halloween -y, but that's okay. We'll start with the holiday. You have the warnings and instructions that come on top. It comes with um, the plug-in base. If you want it to sit on a stand, you have to buy that separately, but we do have those. Oh. <sighs> Oh, he's like a cookie. Oh, I just love him. Oh, look at him. Look at his little snowflakes patterns. So this is his cutout. He is quite deep. Hmm. And he has quite a few holes on the back. You can see. That and look at his little, the patterns. Oh my goodness. He is super sweet. He is jolly. Look at his little rosy cheeks. Oh, he's such a happy little Santa. I love him. He re almost reminds me of, um, more of like a, I think someone said it like a Nordic Santa, more like, more like that. And I, I really like it. He's super cute. Except that he's so like chubby. <laughs> okay. Tuck him back in because I'm not ready to put him out yet. Um, okay, also picked up the Calaverita. I think that's how you say it Calaverita. Um, I don't speak Spanish, <laughs> I apologize. Um, I know a little French, <laughs> but, but not much Spanish. I know this a little bit overlaps, sort of. A bit. Um, maybe the bases of them. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. This would look so cool with different colored bulbs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I just kicked the camera. Oh my gosh. That is super cool. There's a fluff. <laughs> look at that. Wow, I think that is so neat. Oh, a little bit there. Wow, how cool. You can't see the lights too bright there. Isn't that neat? Wow, that is super cool. And when it's lit up, it glows. Um, I don't have a very good cord here for that. I wasn't expecting because I know I didn't get too many warmers. Look at that. That is super cool. The Calvary, I believe he's still available, which shocks me. I thought I was going to miss out on my opportunity to get him. So I was happy that I did. Um, I think he's super spooky and sweet at the same time. Now I have a box in a box, which means it's wax. Ah! So let's do it. Okay, so I did get, I believe, two six packs of wax and a three pack of licensed bars. So we do have a good selection in here. It does look wintry, so I'm excited. Um, I picked up a bar. Okay, so a lot of these are new to me. I like I've smelled the testers for some of them, 
but um, but I haven't necessarily smelled the bar. So I have picked up Velvet Moon based off of everyone who says this is fantastic. Mmm. You know what? I think I like it more in the bar. It reminds me of like a, a lotion or something. Mmm. This is really nice. It's very light. But it's very nice. It's, it really reminds me of a lotion. Mmm. So, I forget the notes of Velvet Moon. Mmm. That is very nice. Mmm. I can't wait to warm that. Okay. Um, Frosted Vanilla is new to the catalog for this season two. Um, I thought I would just try it. Wow. It's pretty good too. A little stronger. I actually like it a little better in the bar, I think. I should smell the bottom. Mm. Stronger on the bottom. More minty. I kind of like it. I'll have to warm it. Kind of reminds me of like an ice cream shop that's been cleaned. <laughs> So it's still a little sweet and heavy, but, but minty and clean. Okay. Now I did get a, I did get three cashmere and corduroy because <laughs> my stash was depleted. I had no more cashmere and corduroy whatsoever. Oh, oh this is like the greatest. I love this bar. It's so good. I think these need to sit a little bit. These almost seem a little light. Mmm. It's so nice. Such a nice scent. And I believe that's bergamot. And, and I got three graham cracker crunch because I love this one and I have been without it for a really long time. I think this will go in my club when it disappears again. And same with cashmere and corduroy. Oh boy. Those are like delicious. Ah, I can't wait to warm some of those. Um, okay. So this is part of the trio. Here's the rest of the regular six pack that I got. I got a bar of sips of cider because mm, it is really intriguing. Mm, it is like bubbly. I like it. It kind of reminds me of something like a candy, mm, but it's warm and still yet vibrant. Mmm, I really like that. I'm very much looking forward to that. Sips of cider. Let me know if you've warmed that below because I am really interested in that. I like that even better in the bar than I do the tester as well. I got another bar of Johnny Appleseed because I had run out and I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase a brick because this is a brick option in the Scentsy Club. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like smelling an apple that you just took a bite out of like you can smell the peel and the apple and the juices and there's like I think there's a hint of pear peel in here but it just must sweeten it up oh gosh that is an, a magnificent apple scent if you like apple Johnny Appleseed I also picked up another bar of tinselberry um, I do really like this one and I did not put it in my club last year and I was worried it wouldn't come back it did, and then I haven't bought any, so. Oh, it's such a nice sweet cinnamon because it's like cinnamon and strawberry. It might even be raspberry, I'm not positive. Um, or cranberry. Cranberry, strawberry, and cinnamon. Mmm, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, and give me candy because I had to try it. I put it in my club. I'm already gonna. I am so excited. <laughs> I haven't smelled this. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so rich. Like butterscotch. 
Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's going to be so good. Almost gives me like eggnog vibes. No alcohol, but how sweet. Mm. Oh, I am so excited about that. And I think that's going to stay in my club for now because that's delicious. I don't know what I'm going to warm that or warm it with even. Mm. Okay, so I did pick up the Holiday Trio. I haven't smelled these. So there's vanilla, vanilla maple glaze, swirling snowflakes, and cranberry orange cider. So I will start with the cranberry orange cider. Um, look at that. That was so cool. I like there's like little cups and drinks and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh, you know what this smells like? Sometimes around this time of year, um, when I was younger, I used to, my dad would do this for me as like a treat. You cut a grapefruit in half and you like cut it up a little bit so that you're, it's easy to get the slices out and you put brown sugar in and put it in the oven. That's kind of what this smells like. Oh, and you eat it. Sorry, I didn't even say you eat it. Um, the, the sugar like all melts on top. Oh, that's what that smells like. It's so tart on the bottom. Mmm. Oh, I think that'll be really enjoyable. Um, that one is cranberry orange cider. Mmm, I really like that. Okay, so this one is swirling snowflakes. Hmm. Yeah, it has like that NHL fresh ice kind of vibe. The, the super fresh. Wow. It's almost like you mix the NHL fresh ice with someone who is cleaning a swimming pool. Maybe in the same rec center. It kind of gives me like someone was cleaning the swimming pool area vibe. Ah! It's clean and it's fresh. Maybe the mint is a little bit aquatic somehow. Hmm. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's, um, I wouldn't, it's not quite, well, it's pretty similar to frosted vanilla. The mint on this is much more fresh and intense on the swirling snowflakes. Um, and there's more tree in the frosted vanilla, but they're both very nice. I like the color of the swirling snowflakes better. Um, okay. And maple vanilla glaze. I'm excited for this too. Look at those beautiful maple leaves. Uh, I love them. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like that too. It's kind of, um, Hmm. <sighs> That's interesting. It's more of like a subtle warm, slightly not, not quite nutty, but, um, but along the same lines. Hmm. But it's not, um, really, really heavy. I'd have to warm it. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, let me know if you picked up the Holiday Trio, which is your favorite. What? Which is your favorite. I think I think my favorite out of the Holiday Trio probably would be this, but I haven't worn them. This is on cold. The Cranberry Orange Cider. Um, really nice. I think Swirling Snowflakes comes in third for me. And the Maple Vanilla Glaze would be second. I still haven't smelled the Harvest Trio's um, maple rum cake, I think it was. Um, and I've heard that's good as well. So I have that in my club um, and that process is in November. So I will smell that then. Um, you could let me know what you think if you like one more than the other, the vanilla maple glaze versus maple rum cake. Um, and here are the three licensed bars. So I have smelled two of them already. I got um, another Alice. We're all mad here. I'm surprised. I was going to throw in a Sanderson Sisters, but she sold out before I closed this party. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is great. I love this bar. It's so fruity. Um, 
and I got Slytherin, which is a really nice one. It reminds me of um, just Fur You, which was sort of fur and blackberry and that kind of vibe. Mm. Yeah, I get sort of a nice pine. It's like a bush. Sorry, my eyes are watering now. <clears throat> mm. Oh, but it's so sweet. The blackberry in there. Because you can definitely tell the berry note. Mm. Yeah, I do like that one. Um, oh. And I have not smelled. Is it this wizarding... Wizarding World, Harry Potter. Um, I feel like the bar art could have been a little bit nicer, but that's okay. Lovely, like, maroon. Hmm. Oh, I see what people are saying. Okay. This isn't too in your face, but I do understand the cologne-ness. Ooh. That's nice. But people say it's also really strong. It almost gives me a burning note. Maybe there's a smoldering? Hmm. It's okay. It's not, I don't think it'll be one that needs to stay in my club, but it's an interesting one to try for sure. <clears throat> okay. So that is all that I picked up. This was my party closeout. So we are still waiting for my flash sale. I have like two um, orders coming to me from the flash sale. One is mostly my stuff with some customer goodies and one is mostly customer stuff with like one or two goodies for me in it that I threw into that order. So there's actually two parcels that I'm waiting for. They both stay posted on my workstation. So hopefully those come soon. Um, I mean, they have a while. I'm not, I'm not in a rush or anything. I'm just excited. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing. Um, if you like hauls and unboxings, please hit the like button. And if you like watching my videos, please hit the subscribe. Uh, I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are feeling good. If not, please take all of the healing thoughts that I'm sending. Um, I will see you again in another video, guys. Bye.